What's up watchers of the Marvel Multiverse and welcome back to the channel. We're still giving away a Spider-Man Far From Home hot toy. The next winner will be announced on December 1st. For those of you that entered the previous giveaway, you're already entered for this one. But if you're interested, all you have to do to enter is like this video, subscribe with notifications on, follow me on Twitter, and over on Twitter, tell me which member of the Sinister Five or Six you're most excited to see. Today we have even more updates surrounding Spider-Man No Way Home, concerning mainly Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and when we can expect to see them in No Way Home, as well as two cut cameos from two massive Spider-Man characters from the Andrew and Toby universes respectfully. So without further ado guys, let's jump right into it. Most of these reports, well all of them in fact but one, come directly from Daniel RPK, who has been right about nearly everything surrounding Spider-Man No Way Home. First off, let's start on the big end of the news with Andrew and Toby news, where Daniel RPK stated that we can expect to see them both appear in No Way Home about an hour and a half into the movie, meaning that there will be a roughly an hour left in the movie with Andrew and Toby. It was stated that combined they would each have around 30 minutes of screen time, with a lot of their screen time being shared between one another. It's very clear that this is in fact Tom Holland's third Spider-Man movie and they don't want to outshine him, but again, they do want to make them integral parts of the story. Daniel RPK also put a lot of fans at ease, stating that both Toby and Andrew would be showing up before the third act of the film, something that a lot of fans were worried about, especially after the final main trailer for No Way Home. So it appears as if Toby and Andrew will be showing up right around the second act of No Way Home, and will obviously be major contributors in the third act of the film, which makes the most sense. For those of you worried about the screen time of Andrew and Toby, just remember that Tony Stark had roughly 30 minutes of screen time in Avengers Endgame, so we should get ample screen time of both Toby as well as Andrew. Still related to No Way Home, Daniel RBK also stated that there were two big cameos cut for Spider-Man No Way Home due to COVID complication and scheduling with these actresses. It was actually revealed that both Kirsten Dunst as well as Emma Stone were actually set to reprise their roles in Spider-Man No Way Home. Again though, this was unfortunately ultimately cut from the film due to complications with scheduling due to COVID. Kirsten Dunst herself yesterday confirmed that she did not actually appear in Spider-Man No Way Home, but this reveals that she was approached but was unable to actually film her scenes. I'd obviously be most interested to see what Emma Stone's character filmed, likely a flashback with Andrew Garfield, as apparently a lot of the story revolving around No Way Home and Andrew's character arc will be his failure to save Gwen Stacy at the end of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and how it's affected him as Spider-Man, as well as how he will attempt to teach Tom Holland and have Tom Holland not have to learn the hard way as he did. In addition to this, we have some pretty surprising news again coming from Daniel RPK regarding Sony and two upcoming solo projects that they have planned. According to the insider over on Patreon, he's revealed that Sony is in early development of two additional Spider-Verse movies. These movies will entail Rhino and the Sandman. It's unlikely that for the Rhino solo film, they'll be depicting the Paul Giamatti character from the Amazing Spider-Man universe, as he's pretty much the most universally hated Spider-Man villain from the live-action film, and apparently will be the butt of a ton of jokes in No Way Home. In addition to this, I'm much more interested in a Sandman solo film, whether or not it will take place after the events of No Way Home or will be set after Spider-Man 3 and fill in the gaps is completely unknown. But I think Sandman could be an interesting character to tell a full-length story with and is one of my personal favorite Spider-Man villains from the movies. It was also rumored concerning No Way Home that both the backstories of Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man would go in-depth and be explored and it would be revealed exactly what they've been up to since we last saw them on screen. And the final piece of news comes from My Cosmic Circus who reveals that both Mark Webb and Sam Raimi were reportedly communicated with for Spider-Man No Way Home, which makes sense as Kevin Feige talked about Alfred Molina and Sam Raimi just being down the hall from him over at Marvel as they were both working. And it makes sense that he would want to call Sam Raimi into his office and actually communicate with him about No Way Home and the character of Toby and the characters that he created. Same with Mark Webb, and it's great that they wanted to pay respect to the directors and the creators of the other Spider-Man universes that have been established. But Anyway, my friends, what are your thoughts on these pretty big pieces of news coming about around Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, as well as solo films for reportedly Rhino, as well as the Sandman? What do you think about all of these reports coming around No Way Home and anything that we touched upon in this video? As always, my friends, if you want to stay up to date with everything No Way Home related, you found the channel and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as we'll keep you up to date on all of the brand new stories. Again, don't forget to enter the hot toy for the Spider-Man figure and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.